Apple shares under pressure despite a top and bottom line beat there and record September quarter iPhone sales. Let's get to Steve Kovac live from San Francisco with more on this quarter. Steve. Hey there, Leslie. Yeah, Apple did beat expectations of the top and bottom lines, but we're seeing the stock under pressure today because services revenues missed and no guidance really on iPhone sales for the December quarter. And that's really all anyone wanted to hear on the call last night. Will Apple Intelligence keep the iPhone business growing? They did not get that. The only guidance they did get, top line revenue will grow a bit and services will grow again by double digit percentage points. A little color, though, on early iPhone 16 demand from Tim Cook. I talked to him on these results, and he told me the first few days of iPhone 16 sales were better compared to the 15 last year, and 15 sales were strong as well. Cook pointed out the 15 Pro models still work with Apple intelligence. So that, in part, at least explains the record September quarter for those iPhone revenues. Also, it was the opposite of what many analysts thought were happening for those initial sales. Meantime, Apple Intelligence just launched on Monday, and Cook told me in the first few days, more people were updating to the new software than they did for the same version a year ago. He called it, quote, a really early stat. But, he said, they're also tracking how many people turn on Apple Intelligence after the update. Wouldn't tell me how many, but he still sounded optimistic about the momentum. And we're still waiting for more artificial intelligence features to launch across Apple's platforms. ChatGPT is coming in December and more features and new languages coming next year. It's unclear still if AI is driving iPhone demand. For now, the best we have from Cook is he says Apple intelligence is a compelling reason to upgrade, Carl. Really quick, Steve, is the next big catalyst the uh, iOS date in December? Yeah, that's the next big one. That's when they finally uh, start putting ChatGPT on there. Obviously, that's one everyone's watching for. Uh, Apple, of course, considers that the best of those AI chatbots. That's why it's going to be the first out of the gate with that iOS integration, Carl. Steve, appreciate it. Uh, important story as we're looking as uh, shares resume. They're a little bit of a downward trajectory today. Steve Kovac.